Hey everybody, Vaughn here with the Monster Vlog and welcome to day 118 of a year of yoga. Now, this morning, I'm not doing yoga so much as I'm going to be hula hooping and I'm going to be using my big ol' big ol' hula hoop. Um, if you're new to hoop dance or hula hooping or anything like that, I do recommend just the biggest and heaviest hoop that you can find because they go a lot slower. Um, but really the biggest thing is to just be consistent. You're going to be dropping your hoop. Just keep, oh, hey chicken. <laughs> just keep bending over and picking it up and getting on with it. Cause it's, uh, like most things new, um, the more you practice, the more you'll get the hang of it. But if you don't have a hula hoop or anything of the sort, uh, then feel free to just do some hip circles. But we are going to start by just putting our hoop around our waist sorry cat and giving it a nice solid spin and then whenever I move my hips it's more of a forward and back or kind of like side to side on the diagonal kind of pushing the hoop as it hits my front oblique and my back oblique on the opposite side but yeah if you don't have a hoop just feel free to do some hip circles or to stand in place we're going to stretch our arms a little bit open back up inhale exhale left arm over and we can actually start going in circles it's a perfect opportunity to play in the leaves and you can actually by tucking more of a anterior tilt tucking your pelvis out you can guide the hoop down on your hips. Whoops. Hitting my <laughs> my pole here. I always tend to get like T-Rex arms <laughs> whenever I get lazy while I'm hula hooping. So let's maybe do some snake arms, nice and slow. Or just just keep them moving to keep them from coming into T-Rex mode. <laughs> You could do temple arms above your head where the backs of your hands are together over your head. You could keep that main position, but then just do hand circles, flourishes. And I'm really hoping y'all can hear me okay, even though it is very, very windy today, but it's really nice because it's quite warm out today. But with the wind, we shouldn't have to worry about any uh, mosquitoes. So I'm going to change directions. There we go. And I kind of push and pull just in the same spot. Just hula hooping. It is very windy. I'm loving it. And sometimes whenever the hoop starts to slide down, you just got to push a little harder towards the front. And it brings it right back up. I'm gonna do a little bit of turning in place. And this is just absolutely wonderful for massaging all through your core. Like especially the heavier of a hoop that you have, the deeper of a massage that you're going to get. Now, if you're someone who is petite with a, maybe not a whole lot of meat on your midsection, the way that I do, this could be pretty hard on your hips. So maybe wear like some thick clothing or maybe go with a lighter hoop. I got this hula hoop from the Kansas City Ren Fair. Uh, it's in the fall, but I can't remember the name of the booth. I'll see if I can't find it and link it down below. But they had all sorts of really cool, like juggling accoutrement and different things like that. And they had this giant hula hoop that actually detached and breaks down into much smaller. That way we could get it home. And so if ever you have the opportunity to go to some place like that and test out a hoop in person, don't feel silly. Anybody who's going to look at you and be like, oh, they look dumb. They're playing with a hula hoop. It's like, fuck those guys. Like, or those people. I don't even like, who needs that? <laughs> Nobody. It's like watching somebody having fun and being like, Her, they're dumb for enjoying their life. What? <laughs> so something that you can do if you feel like you're going into T-Rex mode a lot is you can actually dip your arms in because if you watch you can see especially on these larger hoops when it goes slow 
you can see an opening in front of you. And then that same opening has to travel around and you can dip your hands in. I'm gonna change directions. And just dip our hands in. So now I'm going to move to my smaller hoop. This one is a, I believe a 38 inch made out of one inch uh, like plumbing pipe. Like it's a, that black irrigation hose, like not the, not the soaker hose, but the stuff that you'd have to plug the emitters into. So it's a little bit stiffer, still has a little bit of give to it, but we're going to have to move much faster on this one and turning in the same direction as what the hoop is going can really be helpful in keeping the hoop up. And of course it helps to have some tunes going. If I feel it coming down onto my thighs, we can start knee hooping where I bring my knees close together and kind of just move one leg in this like uh, pushing motion and you can alternate legs and then kind of wiggle the hoop. It's never, it's not just, oh, kind of wiggle, but you can wiggle the hoop back up onto your hips. Oh, what a beautiful day. And again, we can do those hand dips. <laughs> oh, I'm losing speed. That's all right. Let's go in the other direction for a minute. And so again, while this is obviously not yoga, it is still some pretty serious movement medicine. Anything to get me shaking my ass outside first thing in the morning, that's a good day. And the trash is here, and I don't know if I took the can to the curb, so I'm going to go panic to do that. Whoops. And I will see y'all next time. So until then, you guys, keep on keeping on. Bye. <laughs>